Well guys, I'm doing something crazy. I'm actually flying to New Jersey to buy a car. Let's do it. Well, we have arrived and here is the beauty itself. It looks really good. There's a few couple little things here and there, but I guess that's to be expected. This is not a brand new car, obviously. The wheels are a little bit chipped up, but I was informed of that. Everything's powered, which is, I guess, a good and a bad thing. There's this pretty cool feature where the car will lower so you can load stuff in. Well, I guess it's already lowered, so it's going to go up. There it is. You can lower the seats. And there it goes. Super cool. I think we can even do the same for the front ones. Just goes up so it's easier to get in for people. And then we can just press the button to close everything. Got this very nice leather interior. Very nice soft plush leather. Clean under here as well. No leaks or anything, obviously. It's a tiny battery. I wonder if that's like a the secondary auxiliary battery or if there's just one of these in here. I doubt it. Taking like it's supposed to. Correct injection, of course. Quiet. Very quiet. Oh, I think they removed the, the hitch on it. Interesting. Well, it's a couple of hours later and clearly the deal has been closed as I'm driving this BMW X7 home. So I've traveled basically across the country. I went from Chicago to New Jersey to purchase this car. Why? Well, this car is going to be for my wife and she's been really excited about getting a much bigger family car for our expanding family. Also, another huge reason for us to get this specific vehicle and not an X7 that's local in the area is because it has an awesome, awesome exterior color, which is the blue. I don't remember the exact color, but I do love blue cars. Just stands out a little bit more from all of those black and white and gray cars, right? Also love this tan orangish interior. Also has the upgraded leather, 18-way adjustable, ventilated and heated seats. So much cool stuff in here. I am very excited. I've been driving and learning all of the little things here. There's a lot to learn, you know, all the gesture controls and all that stuff. Uh, really well integrated Apple CarPlay and everything. So once I've added my phone, everything's wireless and it just works. When you start the car, it knows, you know, what you're trying to do in a way. Also, when the fuel was getting low, it asked me, hey, would you like me to find you a gas station and things like that, which is very helpful, especially on these long trips. I also really like the digital dashboard that gives you a ton of cool information and you can even switch it between different modes. So whenever you go from like sport to comfort or to eco mode, it gives you different information that's important at that time. Even has a G sensor, so you can see like your G's and stuff. Not sure why do you want one of those in a, a big, big, big SUV, but hey, it is what it is. It's there, so that's pretty cool. Also has the sport display, so you can see your torque and horsepower and all that other stuff. Pretty interesting to see while driving. We're definitely gonna dive into a lot of the features of this car in the future videos. What I do wanna mention right now after I've been driving for almost four or five hours now, is that this is by far the most comfortable car I have ever driven. This air suspension is just something else. I mean, it feels like you're just floating. And one thing that is a little bit dangerous is that I caught myself going like 85 and 90 thinking that I was going 75. This, you just can't, you don't feel the speed. The car just absorbs the road. It's smooth, very, very comfortable and almost, you know, it's like flat. It doesn't roll a lot, which I was expecting it to roll a lot. Well, I was in the sport mode, so maybe it does roll more in comfort. I'm not sure if it actually tightens up the suspension, but it definitely feels a little bit more solid in sport. I also lowered it so you can lower and raise the car. 
I've lowered it to uh, the lowest setting that it allows me, which is like the second one from the bottom. You can go all the way to the lowest setting while driving. Has a decent amount of pickup. Yes, it's only a six cylinder turbo engine, right? It's like 335 horsepower, I believe. I'm gonna have to look into the specs a little bit more, which doesn't sound like a ton when it comes to a vehicle of this size, but it pulls, it goes pretty quick, especially getting on the highway, those on-ramps, it will pull you. You'll, you'll be doing 75 without even realizing. I still have seven hours left to get home, but I am super excited for my wife to get into this car and see how cool it is and how much nicer it actually is in person from just looking at the pictures that we've been doing for the last few days. I know she's gonna appreciate it a lot and the effort that I'm putting into getting this car, you know, flying out at four in the morning, doing all the paperwork, getting the deal done, buying the car and now driving it back for 12 hours. So I hope she appreciates it. I know she doesn't watch my videos, so um, I'll let you guys know in the future if uh, we get into any issues. To me, I'm loving the car so far. If I find anything wrong, obviously I will let you know. Well, I guess there is one thing. This thing is not fuel efficient, not at all. I've read a few reviews online and they're like, oh yeah, it's very efficient for this, go for the six cylinder, it's so efficient, don't get the V8. I'm scared to even look up the numbers for the V8 because for the last 295 miles, I've averaged 23 miles per gallon, and this is highway only miles. Um, so, uh, you know, not the best mileage, but the idea for us is that this is going to be a very comfortable cruiser for local traveling and maybe going to Florida or something like that every once in a while. And this is definitely going to be a long term car. This car is not going anywhere from our family for at least, I would say, five years. So it's a very long-term investment for us, and I hope it's going to pay off. We'll see what we're going to do with it. Maybe we're going to put some mods on it, make it more comfortable, more sporty, better wheels, maybe some tires, put a hitch on it so we can tow a, like a jet ski or something to the lake so many opportunities here after over 700 miles on the road i made it home and what i said in the car was very very true i didn't even feel tired after such a long drive the air suspension on this car is truly next level it's been a few days now after i came back and this basically truck has been very impressive it doesn't feel like a 5,000 pound vehicle and it handles itself well around town. I was also expecting it to be sluggish or slow, especially at lower speeds, but it has plenty of grunt thanks to the B58 engine, especially in sport mode. I love how you can adjust what sport mode is as well, as you can choose to have you know, stiffer suspension or tighter steering or more aggressive throttle response and make it much more enjoyable to drive. Of course, the biggest reason for getting this car was the luxury and the space, and it doesn't disappoint in either of these categories. It comfortably carries six adults and with the seats folded, we were able to use it to bring home a sectional set without any issues. No need for a truck. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about my big new purchase and I'd also love to hear your suggestions on some subtle modifications, improvements, or coding ideas. For those that subscribe for sports cars and other things like that, don't worry, those aren't going anywhere and hopefully we will be even seeing cooler rides on this channel very soon. And maybe something we can modify in the future as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.